How you doing? My name is Tori Thomas, and this is my crazy hoop story. So this is 2017, and we're playing in a playoff game. If we win, we eliminate Apoel. This is in Cyprus, and we're in the semifinals of the playoffs. And we're in, like, the, I want to say, third, end of the third or beginning of the fourth quarter. We're taking the ball out. But I'm getting full court pressured. So I went, you know, a few dribbles and, and made a move and a few dribbles. And I see something flying across the court. Ba-boom, ba-boom. What? I'm looking, and then another one goes. So we're saying flares fly across the court. Yes, flares. So we hear ba-boom, red spark, ba-boom. And I see it. The defender leaves me, runs into the hallway where you're going to go, um, get into the court. And I also run off. I take off, but I take off, and I still dribble the basketball. That's how real it is. It wasn't even like I let the ball go. Oh, no. Now, I'm still dribbling as if we in the game. We go in the, in the, at the tunnel, as we say. We run all in the tunnel. They still letting them off. My man Primos, Primos Brezic, who is a Slovenian who played in the NBA, is on my team. He's pissed. He goes into the middle of the tunnel, but he throws a chair back out at the fans. So we're away at this time. We're at Apoel. My team is called Ike. So if we win this game, we go to the finals. That's the first part of the story. As when we got into the locker room, we got locked in the locker room. Because the hooligans, as they call them overseas, would not allow us to come back out. We couldn't even get dressed, shower, and get out of there. We were locked in into the to the whole police force, police task, calmed all the hooligans down and allowed us to, you know, get in, take showers and get out of there. So it was, I want to say, two and a half, three hours of stuck in the locker room, them banging on the locker room door trying to get to us. It was wild. That mean the bitch got to drop on us. My back is against the wall. This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. You know, they just took over. It was like they took over the whole gym, the whole arena after we didn't went inside. So from there, finally time passes. Police get this under control. We get out. We go out. We driving a bus back to our city. And on the way on the highway, the hooligans was on the highway hiding out, throwing rocks, s smashing rocks into the, um, into the bus windows, breaking the windows and everything. It was crazy. So one of the craziest things, and that's how the, 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 the story ends of the crazy basketball story.